Did we get better? Yes, sir. Did we have fun? Did we push each other? Yes, All right, come on, let's get in here. One, two, three. Guru. Hello, Sapphire. Girl, hey. Look at her. Look at that smile. <laughs> I so look in the mirror and I'm like, I'm worthy and I should be here, and all of you should be here too. We're just trying to make sure we're doing everything for Vernon Parish as possible. That was so good. Good job, you guys. Woo! Go say hi to the people who love you. I think basketball is a great metaphor for life. You learn to work hard, you learn to, to be determined, you learn to, to deal with adversity, like all types of things. I, I just feel like basketball, just sports in general, but especially basketball is a great metaphor for life. My name is Mike Jones, also known as The Guru, and I created The Guru School, a youth center here in Durham, North Carolina. What up? What up? What up? Are we ready? Can we get to work? The Guru School is a basketball training program that has now become a youth center where we do tutoring, we do virtual learning, we have an after school program, we have summer camps, and we are in the process of starting to do a community outreach. There's just not many places around here that kids can come where you don't have to be a member. I feel like that, that membership clause, it kind of disqualifies a lot of kids. And I've never wanted to alienate a young Mike, a kid who couldn't afford a tutor or a basketball trainer or to go to a youth center. I've just always wanted everybody to feel included. I wanted everybody to have an opportunity to be in this space and do whatever they want to do. I'm going to knock you out. Keep on, bro. Like, I don't feel like I have a job. Like, this isn't work to me. Like, I get up and I get to hang out with kids. I get to teach basketball. I get to teach alphabet. Like, I love my life. I'm a suicide survivor. I became one at 15, and I developed suicidal depression due to bullying and social media, harassment. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for teens 12 to 19 in the United States. But teens still don't know where to go, and they don't feel comfortable reaching out. Thankfully, I'm alive today and sharing those resources and help for teens that I was lacking. My name is Emma White, and I am the founder of Life is Worth It and lifeisworthit.org. It is an organization that is focused on providing resources, workshops, and readings for teens to prevent teen suicide. I felt like all of my worth was in other people. We meet in small groups where the teens feel emotionally safe to talk about the things that they're struggling with. We're talking about bullying. We're talking about social media, we're talking about body image, how we take care of our bodies, how we take care of our mind, and all of the things that come with that. So your value does not decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. Everybody puts their best self out there, and we're not ever seeing the difficulties that we're going through. So to see somebody be honest about it and open about it is life-changing. Cheerleading has given these athletes the gift of a family environment. Everyone feels like they know each other and they love each other. We get to all grow together. And it's just an environment of positivity, kindness, and acceptance towards anyone who walks through the door. I'm Jillian Vole. I'm the head coach of the Stars Vipers Katie Rainbows, which is a cheerleading team for special needs athletes. Rainbows is an exhibition team, which in cheerleading, that means that we perform in front of the judges and the judges watch our routines. We don't get feedback, we don't get a score for it. You can just go out there and have the time of your life and it draws crowds at uh, competitions because people just wanna see the love for cheerleading on the floor. 
three, four, five, seven, eight, one, wait. It's really a place where these athletes can come to learn new things. And having social situations may be hard for our athletes. Sometimes these kids walked in and they wouldn't even talk to us. And now they're doing forward rolls and standing up by themselves. They're doing cartwheels. They're doing jumps. Their passion for cheerleading and just life in general is unmatched by any other team I've coached. We feed. We love to feed. Our background, our parents' background is in feeding. My mom cooked, had a restaurant. Her mom cooked, fed all of her community. So I think it was just embedded in us to help people who need more than what we need. I'm Quentin Murray. And I'm Jacqueline Murray. And we created the Veterans Place. We started off with a small retail store, and the veterans kept coming in buying the hats. The hats is a conversation piece. And I noticed when they talk to other veterans, it's like therapy to them. That's how we came up with the Veterans Place, created to help the veterans on their adventure to getting better. Our mission is so wide now because we have opened up so much to the community. When we're giving out the meals, it feels like a family reunion, like you're taking care of your family. We give them the nourishment that they need for them to continue to live and want to live, and then give back to the things that we're giving them to somebody else. I chose the field of social work from growing up in the housing development because I saw the need of impact. We are at a government subsidized housing development where I grew up. Although my family wasn't able to afford a mortgage or a house, a home, the housing authority provided stability, housing, shelter, safety. So my philosophy is impact. How do I make an impact? How do I change lives? How do I show and prove to people that this is not your end all? Regardless to what people say and what tag that they put on your life, the gamble, you can get out of here. My name is Rosalind Rayford. I'm the senior case manager here at Bella House. Bella House is a nonprofit organization that house homeless women who are pregnant. I do my best to make Bella House a home. What that looks like is when a mom comes in, we embrace them immediately. We help them with unpacking. We help them with preparing food. If they don't have food, we ask for a list of items that they need and we go and get what they desire. Just to let them know this is what family does. And I remember that every single day that it could be me today. It could be my staff today. So we don't take it lightly that our moms need us. And it is a need. I want everybody to find their passion. Like, you don't have to be a basketball player to come here. Like, you could be the next lawyer. You could be the next doctor. You could be the next dentist. You could be the next anything you want to be. My kids are going to be here long after me. I want the world to be a much better place by the time I'm gone. It's being a servant. When you know that what you're doing is not for you, it's totally for someone else. That's the impact every day that drives me. It's my passion. It's what keeps me up at night. And when you speak with teens and you directly impact them, you have no choice but to continue driving forward, doing everything you possibly can. These kids, they have so much potential. And I just feel so happy to be involved in their lives and to just help them make that little step towards becoming their best self that they can be. You 
would not believe the emotion, the thanks that they give you from taking the time to getting them a hot meal because we're not gonna leave anybody who is in need here behind. In total, the Guru School served, I mean, hundreds of kids. I feel like I've touched their lives in one way or another. My organization has impacted thousands of teens' lives throughout the nation. Through coaching the Stars Vipers Rainbows, I have impacted the lives of dozens of special needs athletes. In the last year, we have served over 500,000 meals to our veterans and community. Since January 2020, we have had 54 moms to come and live at Bella House. 